Yo, everybody, it's Heat Override, and I'm ready to bring the pain for you and Dr. Roto this week. If you haven't been over to the site, you know the drill. Get there. If you're listening to this or you're watching it on any kind of streaming device or your podcast listening format, whatever you do, get over to drrodo.com and check out all the articles already hitting every single day, all week long. And I cannot stress to you the subs only Discord dropping bombs and fire and everything is going crazy but that's how we do it and when you get crazy you think about the hard hits and cool picks oh yeah for week five dig it yeah so i mean this is it was, it's been a literally fire every single week i keep grabbing people out dropping them in this new article and it is just going off as of right now, and that includes my heat of the week, I'm going to do that. So if you just include this article, it's only three people. But my heat of the week that I give on my IDP show when I do, you know, heat overrides heats of the week, when I do that, that dude has been going off too. So I, I don't know what you're doing, but last week we all were throwing bets in the Discord and I was throwing defensive bets and all of them hit. All of them. Except one. Step one this year. And so we're just going to talk about that. We'll get back to it. So, well, and then we're going to do a review last week because we already know right now, as it stands with my heat of the week in this article right there, I am 15 in one in picking players that will perform above the average tackle or point position for that position every single week because IDP matters, people. And that's why I'm IDP. Hero! Oh, yeah! Woo-hoo. Let's get to it. Bam! Linebacker Kazir White. I was thinking eight tackles last week. He got seven. He beat it. It's a win for us. That's close, man. And that that's why when you go and you start looking at all the tackle bets early in the week, a lot of them won't be up because they're scared. They're scared because they're on to us. People like us that are already sharking. Like, man, to find a sack? Props sometimes you can't even do it. I couldn't even believe a couple weeks ago they gave up a plus 235 for Aaron Donald and Hendrickson when the Cincinnati Bengals and Rams played. I couldn't believe I was like, you know what? Hendrickson, Donald, cash. So Gazir White got seven tackles. That's a win for us. Did well. But, you know, and I'm going to get to my Henry Tua Tua, Mr. 1%. 1%. Oh, yeah, 1%. Man, I said seven tackles, right? And guess what he got? Seven tackles. Seven. Dropping, just dropping fire and knowledge every single week on this podcast. Because that's what we do at DrRoto.com. Hey, everybody else might be like, hey, this is a good defensive player. But guess what, man? I'm going to say it the way a defensive player wants to play it. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, you could do some shot. We'll get straight to it. In my my here was my key linebacker Quincy Williams. I was like, dude's getting eight tackles, dude's getting stuff, right? If you played that prop bet, if you got that prop bet, you were rewarded with 13 tackles, two stuffs, two pass defense. If you listened to this article last week and you went up and picked up Quincy Williams, most likely you won in your seasonal league and you won in your betting leagues as well, too, because that was a Easy prop that you could get. And again, my article is written up on Dr. Roto. You can read into my theories of why I like these players. So let's get to the heat of the week. TJ Edwards, eight tackles, solid day. We got another one, man, which is fire. So let's get to the new hard hits and cool picks for week five. That's what we're doing. Number one, Drew Sanders. Now, Josie Jewell. Is, is nursing a groin right now. So he's a little questionable. So if he happens to be out, you have to play Drew Sanders. But right now, he is making a name for himself. He's filling in perfectly. I mean, it's Josie Jewel, man. Dude's a monster. But Drew Sanders is a monster too. And for a rookie to step in and fill that role the way he did, there ain't nothing to it, right? Going with seven tackles. That's what we got. Even if, 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 if Josie does play, he could still get above five, six. So that's why you check the game day tools. Cause if Josie does play and you see that Sanders actually has 
like a three tackle or four tackle, go ahead, take a shot at that because you're definitely going to hit that. And in, 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 in Josie's, you know, limited role, Drew could be in there more. And that's just easy money, man. That's just easy money. Let's get to my next one. Linebacker, Chad Muma. Hopefully I said that right. I don't know. For the Jags, right? So we all know, boy said, a Luke clone or whatever. I, I can't even say it right now. I'm just all jacked up from karate. So, you know, that happens. Ulukun, that was a good shot. Whatever. Uh, so he's going to be eaten up. But right now, Devin Lloyd is not there. So if Devin Lloyd is not there, Muma is filling in perfectly. I mean, he's already just straight up on fire since he's been filling in. And this week, I'm only giving him six tackles because we already know that, you, you know, Foisade is – a tackle monster. Man, I need to go look that name up again, man. Because that is a hard name to say, man. This is the way it is, man. Sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. You're one of my favorite linebackers, brother. Oh, yeah. So let's get to it. Man, I always be giving linebackers and safeties. I feel bad for all the cornerbacks. Cornerbacks. Oh, you got a cornerback for us? Yeah, he'd override got a cornerback for you. Cornerback that if you throw a big bet on in, you can win enough money to go Niagara Falls. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Miles Bryant of the New England Patriots. Yes, Miles Bryant. I'm only looking for four tackles and one pass defense, but one thing all three of these guys have in common right now is they're practically not owned. And they have amazing schedules coming up, especially Muma. Like he's got so much time that if anything happens to any linebacker in that core, he's going to be inserted immediately. And that is what he's, he's great. If you have it, if you can put another linebacker on your bench, this is one of the linebackers you'll play, you know, someone like Muma and like that, but let's get back to miles. Bryant. man. Miles Bryant has definitely stepped in and he's getting that normal work. And I want to make sure that, you know, you highlight right now, the Patriots are in games. They're keeping it slow, but their defense is on the field a lot. This gives you a ton of opportunity for anything to go down. Given that four tackles, let's just get it this week. We're going to pop back up to Muma real quick. You know, I got to tell you, man, Muma's under 1% owned right now. And Drew Sanders is 1% owned as well. Like, these players are more than what you're going to be looking for. They are people that nobody's looking for. And that is how you can step in. It was like Quincy Williams last week. I think he was a 17%. Well, now he's not going to be a 17% anymore. And, and why that happens is because people like me identify them before games like that so that you're on them when that game hits. And, and if you're not, if, if you can only win and you can only get all of that information at drroto.com. And that's why we, I always, always stress to everybody that you need to get there and you need to join up. You need to become a sub. So you use the do, code word doc, D-O-C. And that way it really helps you. Right now, Quincy Williams is almost 21%. He is up 3.1% from when I did my podcast last week. And he's going to go up more tomorrow when people's waiver wires hit. So I'll bring that up on my IDP heats of the week. Because you know what? That's a player that all you could have had and that always somebody at Dr. Roto gave away. They asked somebody, was Heat Override, the pain bringer? Ooh, yeah. Now get to your waiver wires, make your claims, pick these players up, smash your opponents, and always bring the pain to your competition. Yeah. And that's how we're going to do it. May the points and tackles be with you all. Woo! 